welcome to my channel study with pradipto today i will discuss the assignment 1 solutions of the course data structures and algorithms using java okay i will provide all the answers of every assignment before the due date so please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that uh, you can get the notification of every assignment okay i will provide every assignment so uh, today we will discuss assignment one solution so the first question is here on your screen okay so which of the following statements is true about linear and non-linear data structure in java okay so we know that the linear data structures are array linked list tag theory those are the linear data structures and graph tree sets tables those are non-linear data structure so option b will be the answer of the first question okay now the second question is which symbol is used to denote a generic type in java okay the angular bracket denote a generic type in java the third question is consider the following generic method in java so here option b will be the answer because primitive types are not allowed okay in case of generic the object type can be allowed okay so this method can print arrays of any object type but not primitive types okay okay now question number four the public static void print the question is from variable argot so the question is which of the following calls to this method are valid okay now option c will be the answer of this question because uh, hello and world it is a string array okay option a in option a hello and world are a string array but in case of option b this second bracket is not allowed okay in case of c there is a string array is created okay and the string array is passed this is a parameter okay so this uh, string array parameter is passed okay in case of this uh, the the same thing is occurring okay the string array is passing through uh, the, this method now question number five is which of the following statements about variable length argument varax okay is true now a method can have only one varax parameter and it must be the last parameters that means the variable argument parameters that should be the last parameters of a method's parameter list okay now another uh, java code snippet is given now we have to tell that which of the following statement is true about the given code okay so the code will output one two three and hello okay because uh, look at the code that is uh, a integer box object is created of uh, box integer type and box string type object is created that is string box so we uh, call the method get content by those two objects so it is uh, true nothing no compilation error is there no runtime error is there so this should be the answer question number c should be the answer okay now which of the following is true a generic class may be established with several types parameters that is the answer of question number seven okay so in question number eight four code snippets are given okay so we have to correctly demonstrate which method is overloading here okay now uh, in option a that is two add methods are there okay so it it is this parameters are same we know that in case of overloading the parameters can be varied by number of parameters by type of parameters or by sequence of parameters okay now uh, option b and option c if we see that here uh, the number of parameters are varied here the type of parameters are varied so b and c will be the answer so option b will be the answer of this uh, question okay question number eight now uh, we'll proceed to question number nine now which of these is a wildcard symbol okay so this question mark is a wildcard symbol now question number 10 which of the following keywords is used to declare an upper bounded wildcard so extends will be the answer of the question 10 so submit the answer uh, please subscribe my channel i will provide all the assignment answers if you get some help from this video so please subscribe thank you